starting another video. Just finished that one with my ace. Now we're moving on to this. I'm going to go hang up the target. Figure I'm going to try a different style with this video. I'm just going to keep you guys on my head. And you guys are just going to go along for the journey. So we're going to run down. Hop in the Jeep. Maybe. Oh, yeah. We fit. I don't know how, uh, how high you guys are up there. We should be fine. I'm just going to run down, hang some targets up so I can try and sight this turd buggy in. Oh, man. It's starting to get hot out here. And overgrown. We need a brush hog this field. Now, I'll tell you what. I drove while well, I was up here yesterday shooting. When I tried hanging these targets yesterday with some paracord, and that did not work. So, I came back with Vengeance today and not just drove back and forth a few times, knocked down all these weeds in front of it. But here's my new target set up. I ended up using ground straps for like a transformer. They just, uh, I just bolted them to the ears on these targets and then screwed them into the back of my stands and it seems to be working pretty good. You know, I only shot a few times at them. We'll see how long they hold up. Need to come up with a better system for that. Down here is where we're going to hang up. I got a paper target I'm gonna pit up so I can sight that gun in. Dang, and I forgot to put my boots on so I'm gonna get covered in ticks. These weeds are taller than me. All right, we have arrived. Oh, it's not too bad down here. Let's see, get my tape. Get my tape. Get my target. Hang this thing up. All right. So this is about 100 yards from the from the shooting spot. We shall see. All right. Look at that. That thick. My AC don't work in my Jeep. Kind of ignorant. I'm just so I had that scope mounted on another AR upper. 223 upper and uh, I'm just going to hope that it's relatively close and I can hit that target at 100 yards because I don't have anything other than those steel targets at 50. Try them. We'll see. I'll try and hit one there. But I got, I got my um M17 up here too. I'm gonna shoot that a little bit. I don't know what video that gonna be in. Probably this one. Just cause. I also got a new backpack from my medic. I ordered the Recon Medic Pack. Probably do an overview on that thing because that thing and it has got a lot of stuff in it, let me tell you. A lot. Here's a little preview of that thing. So this is the recon. Then on the front, this is a wound closure kit. So that's got you know all your clamps and stuff to close up a wound, obviously. And then inside here, it, it's a really cool bag. I'll have to I'll have to show you guys in another video because there's a lot to unpack in there. 
we are going to throw this thing up. Hope we don't get stung by a wasp. Load the mags. And I know I did a video kind of on this bag. This is that Tacticon 2 gun bag, that freaking 42-incher. Uh, and I love that. That bag's the best thing I ever bought. It uh, holds both of these guns real good. And I have a AR-10. And it holds that gun just fine, too. I will see you when this mag is loaded up. All right, guys, we're back. Got the mag loaded. And I don't know what you think about this gun. I really like uh, the upper. I really like how the upper feels and looks. It's got, you know, a real round foregrip. So let's see how this thing shoots. I'm going to try and hit these close gongs real quick. See what happens. Oh, I hit it. Perfect. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit this target down here. Maybe this thing's extremely blurry. I'll be honest, guys. The scope, I mean, I, you guys can't look through it, but this is the blurriest thing i ever seen. And that's the scope. I'm going to load some more shells up. I'm just going to hit those gongs, you know. So I'll be back. My right, boys from back. Now let's just shoot some guns. You know what I'm saying? This thing's a turd buggy. I doubt the scope's any any good anymore. Actually, no. Good enough to walk them down, though. I said that. I don't know. that what you guys think I'm gonna blame everything on that optic right there because that is just I don't even know if you you might be able might be able to see it moving I don't know if you guys could see that throw that there I believe it's time to shoot my pistol. So this, nine millimeter, I've got the TLR1 stream light on here. I really like that light too. It's the SIG P320 M17. I love this gun. This is my favorite pistol I'll shoot. I mean, it just shoots so well. Uh, easily one of my other favorite guns. I'd say this and my Galil are definitely my uh, two favorite setups. Let's see if we can hit that gong again down there. There it is. There it is. So... This gun used to have a RMR on it. And when that was on there, we had a gong down there by the green thing where that other target up it is. And you could smack that gong with this thing. Easy. It's a very, very accurate pistol. I freaking love this gun. These two right here. 
These are my favorites. This one hopefully turns into a favorite. Hopefully. We shall see. Now, just give you guys a quick little look at this bag because I love this bags too. This is probably, this is definitely the first thing I've ordered from my medic and I ordered several things. So I ordered this recon bag, this wound closure kit and I ordered, um, I actually have them over here. This was free, it's just a giant roll of galls. Um, they have some ready hour emergency rations. I haven't tried them yet. The only gripe I have is I ordered three of these and only two came in. Um, I just deemed.